I see it as something that you can do anything with. I get a sense of fulfillment within the vessels that I make. We can go from, you know, a traditional vase shape to something as interesting as creating an expression on it. Eric Hernandez and Mike Davis just graduated from the Cleveland Institute of Art with glass blowing skills that create this and this and so much more. My inspiration comes from uh, family and, you know, trying to succeed in something. But over the weekend, someone broke into the workspace they recently rented here near East 55th Street in Cleveland. Many of their tools worth thousands, some from Europe, were stolen and according to police, likely sold for cash. They're made for glass blowers as, you know, our sort of hands, you know, you can't touch the glass. So they they become extensions of yourself. I came in through this segment that, you know, might only be enough for a small child or, you know, not even, you know, someone to get through and there's enough space for a hand or, you know, a leg. Now, while it's too late to obviously make an impact now, Eric and Mike are now looking at ways to secure the building like others have here in the neighborhood. Bars and uh, any kind of mesh steel and an alarm system, you know, and cameras that can be put in as well to, to the environment and to the building. They want to be prepared if there's a next time, but they're also hoping to get back the tools of their trade that were wrongly taken. It's frustrating, yeah. It's a little disheartening. Probably got maybe a couple bucks for it, if anything. And it's, it's upsetting. It's kind of one of those moments where you're like, can't believe that they're gone. In Cleveland, Mark Zinni, Fox 8 News.